Hello, and welcome to another edition of Rock's Garage. I'm your host, Kevin. On this episode, we're going to show you how to install a hitch, part number HITCH15, on this 2013 Club Car Precedent. Now, before we get started, let's take a look at what's included with the hitch, as well as all the tools necessary to perform the installation. Now, here's a look at the items included with your hitch. First, you'll have the hitch receiver, the hitch insert, hitch pin, cotter pin, as well as all necessary mounting hardware. Now here's a look at the tools that we'll be using to perform our installation. First we have a pair of cutters, flathead screwdriver, a hammer, 10 millimeter and half inch socket, a 13 millimeter wrench, a pair of safety glasses, and a cordless impact. Now that we've discussed all the tools that we will be using, we're ready to begin our installation. Now before we get started, we'd just like to mention that as you can see, we have our cart raised up and placed on jack stands. And while this isn't necessary to perform the hitch installation, we want to do it just to give you a better visualization of the installation process. Now the first step in the process is going to be to remove the two bolts in the frame located just above the leaf spring. Once you remove these bolts, you can go ahead and discard them as they will not be reused. Now the next thing we need to do is to go underneath of the cart, locate and remove the four clips that the factory bolts were attached to. Once you have these clips removed, you can go ahead and discard them as they will not be reused. Once you've removed the two clips from one side, you can move over to the other side and remove the other clips in the same fashion. Now our next step is to remove the upper bolts from the rear shackles. Now we need to do this in order to provide enough clearance for mounting our hitch. Now if you have a 2013 or newer precedent, you'll want to pay attention to this next step. If you have a 2012 or older precedent, you can feel free to skip ahead to the next step. Now you'll notice in the area where the hitch needs to be mounted, there's some extra plastic that will prevent the hitch from sitting flush. Now we need to remove this plastic so that we can get our hitch mounted flush and installed properly. After you've cut away the extra plastic, the next thing you want to do is to test fit your hitch. Now if you're still having clearance issues with the shackles, you can go ahead and remove the lower bolts as well. Also, if you have a hard time getting your hitch in place because there's still too much plastic in the way, go ahead and cut away any plastic that's necessary. Now after you've test fit your hitch and you're sure that everything fits in place properly, you want to go ahead and secure your hitch in place using the provided mounting hardware. Once your hitch has been installed and all of the hardware has been tightened, the next thing you want to do is to reinstall the shackles using the original hardware. The next thing we're going to do is install the hitch insert into the hitch receiver. Now you want to make sure that you line up the hole on the hitch insert with the hole on the hitch receiver. This way you'll be able to install the included hitch pin through those holes and then you'll secure the hitch pin in place using the supplied cotter pin. After your hitch insert has been installed, the last thing you want to do is to go back and double check that all hardware has been installed and has been properly secured. After you've gone through and verified that all hardware has been installed and properly tightened, that'll complete the installation of our hitch, part number HITCH15, on this 2013 Club Car Precedent. Thank you very much for watching, and we'll see you next time.